On a clear summer's day, a man wearing traditional African attire walks along the embankment in London. Suddenly a shot rings out and a boy passerby staggers and falls at the African's feet. The Yellow Needle Written by Patrick Campbell Produced by Leonard White And directed by Don Lever Two visitors call at Dr Keel's surgery in Chelsea later that day. The African man, Sir Wilberforce Lungi, and his personal assistant, Jaquetta Brown. Sir Wilberforce is the Prime Minister of an African country, Tenebra, which is due to receive its independence in a matter of days. He had been a surgeon prior to his success in politics, and Keel had worked with him at a hospital in the Tenebran capital. Sir Wilberforce is diabetic, and has his doctor friend perform a medical checkup. Keel completes the examination, and, after a pleasant evening's reminiscence, the guests return to their hotel. The next morning, two policemen are on duty outside Sir Wilberforce's suite. The senior officer, Inspector Anthony, calls at the door and is horrified to discover from Jaquetta that the visiting dignitary has snuck out for a walk. Jaquetta is unconcerned. She is confident Sir Wilberforce will be returning shortly for his insulin injection. Meanwhile, Keel and Carroll are shocked to read in the morning paper of the attempt on Sir Wilberforce's life, something he had not mentioned the previous day. Just then, Steed arrives with his dog Puppy. He wants Carol to look after Puppy while he visits Tenebra for a few days, to spy on Sir Wilberforce's opponents and ensure they cannot order any further attempts on the politician's life. Steed suggests that in his absence, Keel might enjoy keeping tabs on Jaquetta Brown, believed to be the power behind the Tenebran throne, and who may know something about the would-be assassins. Keel calls the hotel and arranges a dinner date with Jaquetta. A little later, Sir Wilberforce returns to his hotel and apologises to Inspector Antony for the trouble he has caused. Jaquetta berates him. Has he forgotten his dinner date with the colonial secretary? Sir Wilberforce apologises, and Jaquetta administers his insulin injection. He tells her that he values her presence and advice, but Jaquetta hints that she may soon wish to move on. The next day, Steed arrives in Tenebra, posing as James Sanderson, a Daily Globe reporter who has come from London to interview Chief Bai Shebro, leader of the opposition. Shebro makes it clear that he opposes the so-called independence, preferring that all British influence be removed from the country. He is convinced that the Tenebran people are behind him, as Lungi has sold out to the British. Shebro then introduces Steed to Ali, an albino-Syrian chemist who is researching new fertilisers. Serious and taciturn, Ali soon makes his excuses and leaves. In London, Keel has taken Jaquetta to a restaurant for dinner. They have a drink at the bar before eating, and Keel compliments Jaquetta on the book she has written about Africa. She thanks him, but lets on that she may soon be leaving Africa for pastures new. In Tenebra, Steed befriends Judith, wife number four of Chief by Shebro. It turns out she knows David Keel from his time in Africa, and takes Steed into her confidence. A friend of Keel's is a friend of hers. She warns Steed to be on his guard. Shebro is a bad man. Over their meal in London, Keel and Jaquetta discuss the situation in Tenebra. Keel believes a majority will support independence, but Jaquetta is not so sure. Tenebra is still a tribal country, and most will vote the way their chieftains tell them to, favouring the opposition. Jaquetta begins to fret over being away from Sir Wilberforce for so long, so Keel drives her back to the hotel. At Shebro's bungalow, Steed keeps up appearances, typing his report, but Shebro insists he instead watches a traditional native dance and talks of the changes coming to his country. Sir Wilberforce will not be part of them, he says. As they watch the dancing, Ali lurks behind. Back at the hotel, Jaquetta pours drinks for herself and Keel. Sir Wilberforce's decision to give up medicine for politics mystifies Keel. Jaquetta thinks it was the wrong choice. She seems to want to open up about a hidden secret, but only articulates a vague plea for help. Several thousand miles away, in his laboratory, Ali examines liquid in a test tube, which is put in a box and taken away. On the veranda, Steed, as Sanderson, makes his farewells. His visit is over. However, Shebro pulls a gun on him. He knows the real James Sanderson, a journalist who is now in Tokyo. Steed is put in one of the bungalow's bedrooms under guard. 
Shebro is deciding what to do with the agent when his attention is taken by a commotion outside. A guard has intercepted Judith on her way to see Steed. Shebro orders her back to the women's quarters. Meanwhile, Ali speaks to Steed. He is desperate that his achievements be recognised and warns Steed to be wary of a secret organisation called the Condor Society. Members have the letter K branded on their foreheads and are implicated in the attempts to assassinate Sir Wilberforce. When Shebro returns, Ali turns on Steed, saying that he knows too much. However, Shebro is in no great hurry to dispose of his enemy and decides to leave the imposter's fate until the next day. Later that night, Judith attacks the guard outside Steed's room, rendering him unconscious before breaking in. She knows that another attack on Sir Wilberforce is imminent and wants Steed to help prevent it. Steed overpowers another guard on the veranda and makes good his escape. Some hours later in the London Hotel, Jaquetta receives a package from the porter. Inspector Antony enters with Keel and leaves him with Jaquetta and Sir Wilberforce, who is by now retired to bed. The friends chat as Jaquetta prepares the insulin injection. Sir Wilberforce is tired but well. Keel administers the injection and checks the Prime Minister's pulse as the man falls asleep. The sitting room telephone rings. Steed is calling from Tangier to warn Keel that Sir Wilberforce is in terrible danger. Keel pretends the call is from a London patient, and Jaquetta gives him another drink as a nightcap. But this one is drugged, and Keel soon passes out on the sofa. Early the next morning, Steed arrives at the hotel back from Tangier. Inspector Anthony reports no suspicious activity, but Steed wants to see for himself, and knocks at the door of the suite. Jaquetta answers and tries to stall them. Steed forces his way past and finds Sir Wilberforce ill in his room. They revive Keel, who recognises the symptoms of yellow X, a variant of yellow fever. Organising the antidote, Keel realises that Sir Wilberforce's infection could only have been caught intravenously, and very recently too. Keel must have administered it himself the previous evening, and the only person who could have swapped the files was Jaquetta. Steed grabs her and reveals a K mark on her forehead. Jaquetta is a member of the Condor Society.